Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fred Oakman from PS This Is Awesome, PlayStation Podcast. I'm happy to be here today to talk about this game after the fall. This is a VR, a PSVR game. And for those who don't know, real quick, we are a PlayStation podcast. We have new episodes every Monday. And we have been really on board with uh, VR since it launched. Jake had a headset before I did. I had a headset after him fairly, like several months afterwards. And we've both been gaming quite a bit on our VR headsets. Now, Jake Jake hasn't played his much. Sony just recently announced that the VR 2 is something they're working on. So that's kind of exciting. So... Uh, Sony hasn't given up, and they've 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 put their money where their mouth is. Uh, they believe in VR, and that's exciting. So, this is a game made by Vertigo Games, I believe, the same people who did Arizona Sunshine. And I've been pulling some trailers off of the PlayStation YouTube channel and doing some honest, quick reactions to it. Now, for this one, I kind of wanted to dig a little bit into the game a little bit, and we're going to take a quick look at their website. It's afterthefall-vr.com. Just take a quick look and see what this here is all about they've got a cinematic trailer it says from the team that brought yours on a sunshine comes an epic vr action first person shooter with intense four player co-op gameplay at its core team up with friends take on a hostile vr world filled with the ferocious undead so they do advertise it for playstation vr for oculus for steam it had the best of virtual reality E3 2019, and uh, it also had best best experience award 2019. They're toting their their awards here. They've got some pretty cool screenshots. There's a game overview. We can talk about that real quick, and we'll jump in and watch the trailer. It says, From the creators of Arizona Sunshine comes an epic VR action first-person shooter with intense co-op gameplay at its core that pits up to four players against the post-apocalyptic VR world filled with the ferocious undead mutated and twisted by the relentless cold. Set in the ice-covered ruins of 1980s LA nearly 20 years after the apocalypse, after the fall, combines an evolving VR world shared with players on all platforms with action packed co-op gameplay built from the ground up for VR. So that actually sounds really promising. And it's implying that you're going to share this world with uh, people with different headsets. It also indicates here that you can venture out into the remains of post-apocalyptic LA, wield deadly weapons and devastating powers with real life movements as you develop your combat style and join forces with players worldwide as you go head to head with hordes and towering bosses in a bid to leave the city a better place than your predecessors. So that sounds actually pretty cool. So we're gonna, we've got a cinematic trailer here we're gonna take a quick look at. And why don't we do that real quick and then we'll get into maybe some commentary about this and what it's all going to be about. I don't think there's a release date and maybe the trailer will have it, but um, for now, let's just see. Wow. Not creepy at all. Stay focused. Find what you can and meet me back here. Let's go. Uh Roger that. She said. You scavenging a little bit, maybe? Frozen blood usually means jackpot. Oh shit. Malia! Are you okay? Malia? Got something more than good coming. Run! Take this! That's cool that it showed him sliding down the railing. I wonder if you can do that in VR. You still got the launcher. That's a freaking move. It's a light them up. <laughs> That's a cool weapon. Oh, crap. Oh, nice. Over here. Get in quick. Come on. Smash the red coming. like a super boss. Oh, that would be cool in VR. Something like that. Too close. Going to the mall sure hits differently these days, don't you think? Little comedy there at the end. Summer 2021. Vertigo Games, I was right about that. 
So, uh, trailers like this typically don't get me curious or get me excited, right? And that's mainly because they don't really show you gameplay. But it looks like they've kind of have a vision. I, I my concern is 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 I know it's going to be co op. Is it going to be? Sorry, this headphones like stick into my ear. Um, is it going to be a game? With zero story, and you just go out and you scavenge and you see how long you can live. Who was the guy in the truck, right? Who who was the dude in the truck? Um, some of the sliding mechanic down the railing looks cool. How does that implement in VR? I've got questions, um, and you've probably got questions too. If you look at this, there's like some meat or something strewn up on the top of the. Uh, I don't know the the building there. It looks like they're in a mall. They said they were in a mall. They're all together. They've got different weapons here. They're splitting up, which you know isn't the smartest thing to do in a post apocalyptic world. We've talked about this before, and this takes place in two thousand and four, which is our past, but their future. And you know there they are. She says, she says like, "Oh, frozen blood. That's a good sign," or that doesn't mean this or something. I don't know. He's got like some weird gauge on his gun there. So I'm not quite there's there's he's scavenging looks like he had a, those are military guys it looks like that maybe came back from the dead or something this guy's just like I don't know where the hell I am where'd everybody go somehow he's never been in a mall before and like he just doesn't know how to navigate he's like where'd you guys go and then she's like get out of here and he starts shooting and that this like this guy's on a zip line which is kind of sick I'd like to use a zip line in VR I'm all about that. And uh, he's shooting while he's on the zip line. I don't know. She's launching a flare. That's like very division like. Like in the in the division one and the division two, you can signal flares to to pick up loot that you grab. This guy in the van shows up instead. So is this like a survival thing where you go and you scavenge with a group of people? You go as far as you can, and then you try to all exfil before you get killed, and then you level your characters up that way. You just rinse and repeat. Here comes their savior. He saw the flares. They come on in, guys. Everything's going to be fine. And this guy's like, run for your life. You know, this big thing's coming. So it's kind of confusing. Like, what what is this game going to be, right? Like, I, this trailer actually, surprisingly... Most times, I'm really hard on games. This actually is kind of interesting to me. If you're interested in this game, put a post below. There's already so few of us VR players out there right now. If you've watched this video and you have any interest in this game, or you think that it looks interesting, or you know more about it, by all means, please put a little blurb in our comment section down below. Please subscribe to the channel. I think this game looks cool after the fall, summer 2021. Hey! Maybe I'll be picking this one up. We'll see where the reviews go on it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back with another trailer reaction here in another day. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after. But thank you for being here and thanks for being a part of this. Appreciate you.